What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. And right now, we're going to be jumping into a game. Um, Isaiah Simmons, dude, like that guy is a wild savage. And I keep bringing his name up because for those of you guys that keep telling me in the comments, like, yo, my user is crazy, you know, it's really slow. I can't do this and I can't do that. It is very, very unique, the players that you use this year. All right. So he is very, very um, essential to any team right now because of his height, because of his speed. He is somebody that I would recommend that you utilize. OK, whether or not you guys do that, that is absolutely on you guys, how you want to work it. That's fine. However you want to do it. But that's just something that I believe that you guys should probably do. All right. So here we go. We're going to jump into this game and I'm going to tell you right now, this dude, is he a trash can? Probably. But he, his team, I don't know. Bro, he has a lot of the free players, like Lot. I think he had, um, you know, he's going to have young blood. Like he has every, oh, he has all the free players. And he's going to make this game a surreal hell game. So I, look, I don't know if these players, other, other than a few of them, they're not really, you know, must haves as far as like the epic players. Because I wouldn't run around with Larry Fitzgerald. I don't think that he's suitable right now. But young blood is, is a possibility for me because I like his numbers. I just have to get through the games. Uh, Ronnie Locke, I can't use him. He's too slow at this point. Um, but I will tell you this, though. Th this guy put together, he's probably, it looks like he's more of a no money spent type player, but he utilized the right type of things. He absolutely did. Right there, I could have threw that uh, post route. I don't know what I was doing. And I got to just stop standing there because I got Lamar Jackson. Once I see the way that these guys are playing coverage, you see like right here, I can go easily run. Like right here, you see where I'm, you see how I'm moving around slow? I can easily run right there. I'm just going to throw a dot and just throw a dot, like right through his body. I don't care. It, it's, hold up, who is that? Who is this linebacker? Does he have Jalen Smith too? Yeah, this this guy right here is no joke, dude. Like, look at, okay, that should have been a hot one, man. Lot, Lot still got that hit power though. Like, I'm not even going to hold you. Lot, Lot hit power is on another level, dude. Like, why do you just hit him like that? That's crazy. That, that was really insane, bro. That, that makes me low-key want to go get Ronnie Lott. But then I realize that he's garbage and it's not going to work out for me right now because he's too slow. And what's happening a lot, you, if you play people that understand the concepts already this early in the game, they are going to try to throw the ball over your head. So you're going to need players that have suitable speed before you worry about zone. The reason that I say that is a lot of the players that are really, really good right now, they're just fast. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's all. They're just fast players. Their zone coverage is relatively low. They don't have a lot of things that are going on. So I would urge you guys to try to go that route and make sure your players are fast enough. If you look on the left side right there, you see how Jeremy Chin is down that low? He has suitable speed, so he can actually get back. You see like how he's looking down and he's still going back? I know because I set the zone that way to be able to do that. So I understand what I'm doing. Okay, look at that. Look at this idiot. Okay, Mills, bro, we're going to have to make your curl flats drop back 25 yards, dude. We're going to have to do the zone adjustment. We got to do the zone adjustment because right now, yeah, the stuff that he... Oh, he just threw an in route right at me. That, that was... Hey, that was glitchy. Yeah, we're going to have to... Yeah, the curl flats going to have to go back 25 yards. Like, we're going to have to do the zone adjustments. Look at this guy, bro. He's trying to jurtle? Bro, he's trying to... Do, bro, I'm going to do the jurtle from hell. Like, how is this guy doing a jurtle just straight ahead, though? Yo, bro, okay, whatever, man. Yeah, run it right there. Go for six. Go for six, man. So, again, this guy is proof that you can grind Madden and get a very, very suitable, you know, a suitable team without spending anything. Pick. You guys see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying about Isaiah Simmons, bro? Like, he, he's a car. They made it so that that at least is realistic. He is a 6'4 man that can actually jump, and it's realistic. Now, one of the things that are not realistic still is the predetermined animations with the way that the um, the wide receivers are. For instance, a 4'3 gerbil, he can out-jump Mike Evans because a predetermined animation would make you know make him just be up there in the air jumping super high that to me is something that they probably have to look at and you know say look we got to stop this because the height should be a factor in the game the same way it is on defense but that made me feel a little bit better to know that at least they changed that much at least they made it so defensively your guy can jump without having lurker that is a huge step in the right direction defensively. Now they just got to take away predetermined animations and Madden 22 will probably be the best game ever. Like for everybody though. Because even if you're a bum at the game, oh, I don't like the way he was moving. That's a pick, but your chin, chin, this dude chin, bro, you got to move over a little bit, bro. Like what is he doing? You see what I'm saying about him, dog? Like he wasn't really moving the way he was supposed to. I don't know about that. That was kind of weird. I got to watch that safety, dude. Low key, we got we to gotta go after, um, 
we got to go after Atwater because he has like, a, I think he gets a higher, what, like 88 zone? And we got to see the way he moves. I think he still gets Kemp to like an 88 speed though. But we got to probably go after him. And that's going to be something that we need to look at. But, you know, for, for all those questions that you guys are asking me, and I appreciate all of the questions and everything like that, guys, but I'm going to answer it most of the time in videos, okay? Because it's impossible for me to answer every question. Shout out to all of you guys that come through and help me with answering the questions and that leave the positive answers and leave, you know, good feedback. You know what I'm saying? Like, you guys are, like, so uh, unbelievable uh, game changes for me. Like, you guys come out and you make sure, oh, oh, twer rev his mom's up. You guys make sure that, you know, you see a question and if you can answer it, you guys do that. I truly appreciate all you guys that do that for me. Thank you so much. And then when, when I do see it, I definitely acknowledge it. I will like the comment. I will let you guys know that I encourage that type of behavior because a lot of people are just looking for information to be able to play the game itself. They just want to understand what's going on. And you guys are very, very useful in making that happen. So thank you for that. Now, getting back to, okay, this, okay. Is Adrian Peterson that good, dude? Is look, Listen, guys, hear me out. Is he that good? Like, come on, dude. Like, what is that about, bro? Why is he running around like nothing else? Ma oh, that journal, though. Listen, bro, this guy is really comp competing with my journal from hell. Now, if you guys are waiting for it, it didn't come yet. Like, the journal from hell, you're going to see it. I'm going to slow it down for you guys and everything. It's, okay, this guy. Okay, w what the? Did he not fumble? Does he have, tr he has Truz activated? What the, bro, what was that? Why, why didn't he fumble? I, I have no idea what that was. I'm going to be absolutely 100% honest with you. I have no idea what that was. That is absolutely insane, the way that that just happened, and we got to do something about it. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, that was just, I, I, yo, I don't even know what to say, bro. Like, it's really, really, what is, okay. Why did he move? He almost didn't pick that. I mean, uh, he almost didn't catch that. Why did he move like that? And why was Chin, no, well, the dude has 47 zone. Like, I don't even know what he's doing. So I'm never mad at him because, you know, he's a budget card. You know, like, so he, his awareness is a little bit off right there. Pick me off, please, please. At least they made me jump, though. Like, in all honesty, they made me jump. Low-key, that might have just made me think about something, though. I might be able to get away with some things right there. I, I think I just figured something out. Why? Bro, look at all the... What? What? Okay, okay, dude. Okay, good play. Good play, man. That's the way to do it, bro. But don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Keep doing that. Keep doing it. Yeah, we're going to scream. All right, so hold up. He's blocking seven? He's blocking seven every play. Oh, oh, no. okay, okay. I got you. I got you. Pick that off. Pick that off real quick. Pick that off. All right, there we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. That's not the journal yet. You ain't, you guys didn't see it yet. Yo! Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The journal from hell. We go for six. Go for six, bro. Who is that? Who is that, man? Yo, that dude was super fast, dude. Yo, if that journal made your butt cheeks get like, yo, just straight, it, bro, twerked up, let me know, bro, because my butt cheeks were just like, oh my goodness, dude. That was unbelievable. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. Hopefully you had a good day watching this vid. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.